Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and if you've been following along up until now, we have a bunch of stuff we've completed. We've pretty much completed the skeleton and we were working on some additional facial um, animation. In the last episode, we took a look at the eyebrows and how to animate the eyebrows. So today what we're going to take a look at is how to animate the eyes. So, so right now the eyes follow along with the head. We set that up uh, a while ago. The eyes will follow along with the head. They are connected by an adjustment node and constrained to the head bone. But we can't actually move the eyes right now. So what we actually want to do is create ourselves a control to do so. And let's start off by saying show and turn off our polygons. We are going to create a create a NURBS primitive, a circle just like that and I am going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees along the X uh, some of you guys have had a problem um, with the directions that were rotating things and I believe it's because you've created the um, character in a different axis than I have my character is along the Z axis so the, the Z axis it's facing forward uh, and if you don't have exactly the same thing, if it's not identical to this, then your rotations are going to be different. So make sure that you are rotating it as required. So I rotated mine 90 degrees in the X, in the X and now I'm going to size this up a bit just so it's a little bigger. Let's make it uh, maybe twice as big. Okay. And we're going to rename this to control underscore. Um, why don't we just call it uh, face? Uh, why don't we call it the face control for now? Uh, yeah face control. Um, you, you could add a bunch of things to this. You could actually, if you wanted to, add all of your blend shapes to this and everything else. I'm not going to do so. I'm going to, uh, I'm only going to add the the eyes. Now, in the last episode, if you've been following along, we actually created, let me open up my outliner, we actually created an adjustment node called uh, adjustment brows or eyebrows, right? Yes, right here, adjustment node eyebrows. And I think it's exactly the same location that I want to put the face control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply add this face control. I'm going to select the face control, so it's already selected, and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it in the adjustment node eyebrow. So you can see now it's located within this hierarchy. And that's going to follow along with the face. Now it's obviously not in the right place, so all I'm going to do to make it in the right place, drag it out, show my polygons again, and I'm going to drag this up. And you can put this wherever you'd like. I'm going to put it directly in front of his face like this. Uh, and in fact, yeah, that's that's fine. That's perfect. And what we're going to do now is we are going to say modify and freeze the transformations. Now, this is going to follow along with the rest of the controls. Perfect. Now, there's several different ways to do eyes. We can do what's called an eye follows, which means that the eyes themselves will follow along wherever you move this, wherever you physically move it. Okay, So wherever you're putting this, the eyes are going to kind of follow. And a lot of people like that. But as an animator, it's not necessary. A lot of people have a problem where they, you know, they want their character to look at something in space, and they physically put this object over here like this, directly on the object they want them to look at, and the eyes are going to be skewed way off to the side. It is unnecessary to do, in my opinion, especially for this type of animation. You want to be able to direct the eyes in the direction they're looking, but not have them forced onto something. No one can really tell what this character is looking at. All people can read when they're watching your animation is eye movement and eye direction. So all that's necessary to do is to move the eyes in an appropriate direction whenever the character is looking at something. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, what that means for me, anyway, is we're not going to actually have this animate. We're not going to move this around. Instead, we're going to add controls and be able to adjust the eyes individually uh, in any direction we want. So, we're going to add a couple of uh, new um, new uh, attributes to this control. Uh, we're going to add four new attributes for now. We're going to we're going to say uh, cr we're going to say modify and under add attribute right here. It's going to drop uh, open a new window and we're going to add a left. Well, let's, let's call it um, I uh, left. Oh, uh, that's called let's call it left I underscore uh, left. Sorry, I <laughs> I should have thought it's before in left I underscore um, L R. So that's for left right. So this is gonna be the left right movement of the of the left eye, and we're gonna have a minimum of minus one and a maximum of one. 
just like that and say OK. Boom. OK, and we can see it appeared right here. In zero, it's directly in the middle. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch more of these, and I should have left that window open. So modify, add attribute, and we're going to say write underscore i underscore left right. And we're going to have, again, values between minus 1 and 1. And we're going to say add. And it's over here, right i. Next we're going to say left underscore i underscore up, down. I'll put UD. Up, down. And I'm going to say add. Oh, no, sorry. We have to make it minus 1 and 1. Add, right there. And then lastly, we're going to add right underscore I underscore up, down. And again, it is from minus 1 to 1. And we're going to say add. Okay, perfect. Now, we can close this off. We've got these additional attributes now, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually control the movement of the eye. So we're going to do so with a uh, with a, a set keyframe. Sorry, a set uh, uh, right here under set uh, driven key. Set driven key. Launch the window. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have the control selected, like we do, and we're going to say load driver. Perfect. And let's select one of the eyes for now. So let's select the right eye the actual mesh of the right eye. I don't believe, you know, I created this a long time ago, let me just make sure that I don't have any kind of individual adjustment node on there. Uh, I do not. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the actual, the actual um, mesh of this eye and we are going to then, we're going to, first of all we're going to work on the, that's the right eye, um, we're going to work on the left and the right. So what, what I want to do is I want to move this eye all the way to the right, just like this, as far as you think you want to go. And I'm going to make it go like that, about halfway. Okay, so I'm going to translate this minus one. That looks like it's about right. And this should be zero. I'm going to translate it like that. And when I do so, um, that's fine. Just like that. I'm only going to actually be working with the translate X. So I'm going to select the trans. Oops, with this I selected. I is still selected. Make sure you load the driven. I didn't have that loaded. Control face for the driver. I write for the driven. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to say on the translate X right there. Translate X is being controlled. Next I'm going to select this control here. And I think that the right eye is, that is going to be the positive direction. So I'm going to make this into one. Okay. With that value selected, with a one on the right eye, left right, and a minus one on the translate X of the right eye, I'm going to say key. Okay. Now I'm going to reverse those values. I'm going to select this. I'm going to make this into minus one. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to move this all the way over like this into the inside. I'm going to make this into a one. And I'm going to, again, make sure this says, this should say one. Oh, no, sorry, that should say minus one. I lied. Minus one, and I have to move the eye back. I screwed up. It should go to one. And with that selected, again, with these two things selected, you're going to say key. Bam. Okay, perfect. Uh, I am using the free version of Bandicam, and we are hitting the nine minute mark, so rather than try and rush through the next section, I'm going to turn off the camera right here and restart. Hold on. Okay, everyone, we are back, and uh, what we're looking at right now is the is the left and right eye movement. So if we take a look at this now, if I click on this control, and I shift this value between mon 1 and minus 1, you can see the eye moving back and forth. Derp, 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 derp. Okay, perfect. If it's actually at 0, the eye will be centered, which is what we want. We're going to do exactly the same thing with the other eye. So now we're going to, oh, yeah, actually you know what we'll do here? first, we will do the up and down movement of the eye. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to select control face and make sure that we have the right eye up down selected here. and We still have the right eye selected here. And again, we are going to go in here and we're going to say right eye up. And let's say one is the positive upwards direction. And we're going to select the Y translate for the eye. Select the actual eye again and move it up into the position we want. So let's say we're going to put this up to uh, 0.5. Okay, that's the highest our eye is going to look right there. And we're going to say key. Bam. The same thing, reverse it. We are going to select our control, 
put this at minus 1, because remember that's our values between minus 1 and 1. We're going to select the i again, and we're going to move this down to, it's probably going to be negative 5, negative 0.5, sorry, negative 0.5, and we're going to say key. Bam! Okay, now if we select our control, once again we can see if we move the i up and down. Do, 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 do. And we can move it left and right with this one. Do, do, do. So we can make some kind of, if we want to look up in the upper corner for some reason, we can do some kind of combination like that. Okay, perfect. Let's set these both to zero. Zero. And now we're going to do the left eye. It's done exactly the same way. We are going to reverse one of the values, though. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select this eye, the mesh on this eye, and I'm going to say load driven. So it's now the left eye in this driven location. We're going to select the left, right, I right here, left I left. This is going to be controlling, and we're going to be controlling the X. For this one, we're going to do this. Um, with this thing here set to 1, we are going to move the I in this direction, and we're going to again set it to um, 1. And I'm going to say key. And then I'm going to reverse it. So this thing here is now going to be a minus 1. Shite. I deleted it by mistake. Undo. This is now going to be minus 1. And this value is going to be minus 1 as well. All right. And you're going to say key. Bam. So now, select this guy here. And if we check this thing out, do, 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 they'll go back and forth between those two values. Perfect. All right. Lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to do the um, left eye up and down. So we're going to select the Y translate value here. We're going to select the left eye up and down on here. And we're going to set these values. So with the control selected, let's actually zero this out for now. With the control selected, I'm going to put this at 1, which is going to be our upward value. And I'm going to select this mesh. And I'm going to move this in the Y direction to, um, was it 0.5? It is 0.5. And I'm going to say key. Bang. And lastly, we are going to select this one here. We're going to change this to a minus 1. We are going to change the value of this one here to minus 0.5. And we are going to say key. And that is again now going to allow us to manipulate the eye up and down. So that is our eye control. Now, as I mentioned before, let me get rid of this. We no longer need it. That is our eye control. Um, it is n Some people will actually go through and manipulate this, as I was mentioning in the first part of the video. I don't think it's necessary. If you wanted this character to, let's say, let's say create a, um, let's create a polygon sphere and just toss it in here so you guys can see it. Let's say we, w oops, let's say, control Z. Let's say we wanted the character to actually look at this sphere and it was somewhere over here in this direction. Let me turn off our joints so we don't have to see our joints. We don't see our deformers and we don't want to see our joints. Okay, so let's say this guy was looking at the sphere over here. It's really unnecessary to, to, to make this thing look exactly at that, like to make his eyes, like some people will actually have a control. So this thing here, you actually put it like this and you put it right on top of this and that will control the eyes. Unnecessary, in my opinion. If we want to look over at that, at that sphere, all you're going to do is you're going to have him shift his eye, shift the eye, oops, no, not up and down, because he's not looking up and down, uh, right eye shift, shift the eye just enough, just like that, and now that dude is looking at the sphere. You don't have to worry about having it look exactly. All that matters is from the direction of the camera, the eyes appear to be looking at the sphere. Okay, and in fact, this is going to give you a little bit more options. Now, usually if they, if they set up a control, so this thing here moves the eyes, the eyes follow this control, um, you'll have this manipulation as well. But in my opinion, it is completely unnecessary. This is plenty of control for the type of animation we are doing right now. Okay, everyone. I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, it takes us to, I think, let's zero this out too. It takes us to the end of uh, the facial control. I think we have everything we need in order to do the face properly. You should be able to animate the mouth uh, with your blend shapes. You should be able to animate the um, eyebrows with the actual eyebrow controls we created. And lastly, you should be able to anim animate the direction of the eyes and the eye control using the uh, facial control we made.
okay? So if you guys enjoyed that episode, make sure you let me know. It makes me feel great when you guys give me the thumbs up or you leave me nice comments. If you have any questions, make sure you guys leave it in the comments as well. I try my absolute best to, to get back to everyone who asks questions. I'm, I'm really trying to pass on this knowledge to you guys. So if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much, everyone. Have yourselves a great day.